is Joanne Brandy, and all of you that know me and know me well know I love to craft and share ideas with everyone. I'm so glad you're here, friends. Amigas y amiguitos, bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. Estoy muy agradecida que están aquí conmigo. Friends, I just wanted to come on and play with some clay and let you know how easy it is to fill this little pot up with some clay flowers. Remember, this is the pot I did on my last live and I told you I was gonna fill it up with clay flowers. And instead of doing it behind your back, I decided I'm gonna do it along with you. So friends, I'm so glad you're here. I saw so many of you on. Hi, Stacy, Ivy, Miss Nibs. Oh, friends, I'm so happy that y'all are here. Y'all just make my day. I'm so appreciative. Hi, Madeline. Cindy, and today my Jared is filming. My Hanita wanted to say hello to everybody. Uh, and I think he got on there and commented, I'm not sure. Uh, hi, Christy. And my Debbie Williams is our moderator. And uh, I'm so glad and appreciative of you, Debbie Williams. So glad you're here. Ivy, Veronica, Arlinda, Arlinda. I cannot believe you just did an excellent job on your uh, pot that you painted, your clay pot. Catherine, Karina, hey Karina, I'm wearing the earrings you made me. Thank you, friend, I love them. I've been running around wild. We went to mass this morning. It was a long mass because it was the blessing of the palms. And then we went out to have breakfast or a late lunch. And so we've been running around ragged today, friends. Hi, Jennifer Losey and Sally and Sandy Sisto. Oh, I'm so glad y'all are here. Okay, friends, I'm going to decorate this pot with some uh, flowers made out of clay. And I'm using your nearest clay. Um, hi, Ellen. I'm going to show you step by step, I think, uh, as I go along and put the flowers in there that I made. I'm going to show you how I made them. First of all, this little sign that I'm making or that I made uh, came from this set of cookie cutters. And I think this is a good investment. It was a little pricey. I don't remember if it was $5 or something like that. But I say $5 because it's it's pricey to me. I like things to be a bargain. But this is a good investment, friends, because look, think outside the box. You can uh, paint any kind of cute pot and you can just say uh, congratulations, happy birthday, happy anniversary. Friends, this is a good, a good investment and it's, I'm gonna show you how easy you can make this. Hi, Amy Timmers. There were so many of you on. Hi, Jill. Earlier, I'm so happy that y'all get on and y'all chit chat with each other. And I just, uh, that makes my heart happy. Hi, Bonnie Overman. And every time I see Bonnie's name, I wanna tell y'all, if y'all haven't subscribed to her channel or visited her channel, her YouTube channel, you need to, friends. She's amazing. Jennifer asked, where'd you get the cookie cutter? Oh, I forgot to say, I think these came from Michael's, this little set. They have these little sets, but I think that, I don't remember how much they are. I want to say that they were on sale for like 20% off or something. And I know I paid $5 or $5.99 for the set, but it was on sale. So um, I just think that there's so much you can do with this. So, and it's easy to work with. Easy, easy peasy. Hi, Tonya. And I saw Mark T on earlier. Hi, Denise. Friends, this is so easy to do. Well, this one didn't come out real, real good, of course, because we are on camera. But just kind of work with it. Look at that. I try to make it a little thick. I didn't make this one as thick because um, I don't know why. I wasn't thinking. But you need to make it a little thick so that you can stick your your uh, poke your sticks through it. Now, I already have one that I made a couple of hours ago so that I can go ahead and detail it for you right quick. Hi, Glenda Sapp. All right. See, and this one came out perfect because y'all weren't watching me. <laughs> All right, what, what I did was I took this little, um, I have a little mold 
right here that Cindy, my friend Cindy with Peep This Y'all made for me. Hi, Sandra Crosby and Lourdes. Hi, friend. Uh, well, I have it here. I think she made this mold. It looks, it looks like it's homemade, but she sent it to me several years ago, and I love it because it's got all these little flowers on there, and it's so easy to pop your clay in and pop out a little flower. Is it because it's made out of like rubbery? Oh yeah. Yes. How many of you are, have ever made clay flowers? I know that our friend Karina Barth makes them out of bread, bread dough that she creates. And she also makes them, out, she makes roses out of uh, Yanira's clay. Sally asked, are you using the glue gun today? Oh, thank you, Sally. Yes. <laughs> what would I do without y'all? Even I forgot. Even Jared forgot. Somebody else did. Did you turn on your glue gun? Yes, I did, friends. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. Jennifer, I just put some in my freezer just now. Look. Look how quick that popped out. Isn't that cute? That's going to go right there, but i got to make a little leaf for it. But see, friends, get you a little, um, they have these in the cake department at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, I believe. I think this is too much. It doesn't take much to make a little, a little flower. You made some the other day, Laurie. Good for you. Let me see if I can get this. I might have gotten too much clay in there. I notice that when I use this mold, I don't have to put it in the freezer. The little flower just pops out in good shape with a good shape on it. Joe asked, how long does it take for the clay to dry? Um, I don't know. It all depends on where you live. I, you know, it depends on the humidity, but like give it, for it to dry really, really good, give it a couple of days. But I mean, I start working with it the minute that I start, um, that I make my um, my design out. Okay, let's see if we can pop this out. Hi, Betty Thomas. Hi, Tamara. You cleaned out your craft supply? Over the weekend, you need to come help me clean mine. Took her two right? days. <laughs> that clay seems more gummy than store bought clay. Where did you get that type? I got this is Yanira's clay from uh, Designs by Yanira. Look at that. That's a perfect little flower and it's tiny. Okay, so once I have that done, because I wanted to add it to the sides, because I just thought it was so plain. Then you make your little, and friends, I have the little um, cookie cutter or for the, the leaves, different sizes, and I also have the press out. But for things this little, I just make them with my hands. Hi, Barbara Sullivan. Hi, Lisa. And it depends on how thick the clay is. Yes, you're right. It doesn't take much to make a little leaf. And I just start like in a little ball like that. And then I just press it with my fingers. See? And then I grab like, I've been using this thing. This came with some cakes uh, when I ordered the cake bags. I mean the, what is it? The, not the cake bags, but the frosting bags, piping bags. See, friends, and since your clay is wet, it's going to stick. And if worse comes to worse, grab your scissors. Make it work for you. You be the boss. Hi, Lena. Hey, Sabrina Aguilera. How are you, friend? Okay, so once again.
That's all it takes, friends. Mark says, Joanne, they look so real. I know, isn't that something? This clay is amazing. Is this foam clay? Yes, it's air, it's foam clay, yes. And these colors are so pretty. Sabrina oh. says, I'm doing fine, Joanne. Thank you, honey. Oh, good. Hey, hey, my friend, Celine's Crafts and more. Miguelito, how are you? You have been a busy bee, let me tell you. Friends, if you haven't visited his YouTube channel or his page, you need to. He is amazing. And he's my friend, and I love him. You know how I love my crafter friends. Okay, since the clay is wet, it's going to stick on there. And while it's wet like that, and I put him on these little sheets. Uh, this is Jennifer sent me a little batch of those last year on my birthday and I still am using them Jennifer thank you so much Samantha. that is going to be so cute oh yes Ivy I can I can see it in my mind I kind of had a visual picture okay so I'm just going to with the slick I'm just going to make some little curly cues I like to make curly cues friends It's very, very easy to do. Mark Tilly, is that like wax cake? Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's like, let's put your hamburger patties on, but it works good for your crafts. Where'd you get these, Jennifer? Because I know that they sell in different places, but you can get them um, at a good price. I think at the Dollar Tree. Friends, and if you do this, I forgot to do something. I forgot to put my poke my stick through it. But anyway, always poke your stick through it. Or you can do it afterwards, you know. I won't mess with this one. But um, if you have a bunch of these ready, that way you can just write in there happy birthday or congratulations or happy anniversary. Think, think, just to have them ready. I like to do that. All right, let me go ahead and sprinkle a little glitter on it. On my slick, see it's already bringing it to life. Somebody said, just comment on something that said about sprinkle. Yes, friends, don't forget to like, comment. And share. And share, please, please share my video. And I'll be having some more drawings coming up. I just need to uh, catch up with mailing everything. I still have two people that I, I need to mail things too, and then I'll catch up with some more drawings. Okay, and I'm using this slick right here. Now, friends, how quick and easy and cute is this? Come on, dot, stay. It doesn't want to stay, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. It will. All right, so I'm not going to try attempt writing on it right now or sticking the stick through it. I should have done that already, but... That's okay, just set it aside to dry. Just think, friends, you can add more flowers. You, you can do anything to this to make it fit the occasion. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And now at this point, I take the little piece of paper off and I put it on a cooling rack or just like a little baking rack. All right, let me grab some more sticks. Oh, that's cute, that is so cute. Oh, I forgot. I changed my sticks. They're on this side. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I already have some ready. What did I do with them right here? And I think I saw Cindy. The very first person that I saw do this was Cindy. Uh, she um, just kind of pressed out a, a circle and then she got the spackle and she just made a little swirl on it and decorated it and made it look like a flower. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that 
And to cover up my boo-boo there, because I wasn't an expert at this, I had never done that on the flower. But friends, don't be afraid to try anything. It's the only way you're going to learn. I'm going to say Miss Joanne Riley says hi. Hi, sweet Riley. Oh, and I need to get you a big package that I have for you, friend. But you got to save it because it's seasonal. It's for Christmas. Hey, Nellie. Nellie Campbell, thank you for being here. And Sandra from North Carolina. Oh my God, loving the flower pot already. Thank you, friend. Okay, I'm gonna use two of these and I'm gonna make one with you here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and put the little, I'm, I have some boo-boos on this. I got a little excited. So I'm using hot glue, it'll be all right. If I wasn't doing it on camera, I would probably uh, use the Eileen's glue, tacky glue, because I don't like to mess with all these threads and stuff. Okay, thank. And again, I made these little leaves just with my fingers. Oh, look, that one needs two. That's good. With my hands, not with my, well, using my fingers, just. All right, how cute is this? And while it was wet, my friend Amy Timmers had sent me this unicorn mix, and I don't know where she got this, but friends, it is so cool. It's amazing. It's got little dots, I mean little, um, like little, little rhinestones and little pearls in different colors, and I just love it. Thank you, Amy. Hi, Miriam Rivera. Hi, Missy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with, I think I'm going to put a flower right here. And I'll show you how I measure the straws in a little bit and how I just glue a toothpick in there too. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have a piece of styrofoam, a little square in there, and then I stuffed it with tissue paper. I did put a little glue on the sides because um, I'm going to put something on top of that. You'll see in a minute. Um, I'm going to put this one. It's a little wonky but it'll be okay. All right, so now I'm going on to show you. I just cut, it's so easy to do, and I love, this is clay from Yanira, and it's designs by Yanira, and the way you order this clay is if you, um, you need to message her on Facebook. She's got a business page, designs by Yanira, and you know what I forget to tell you every time I mention this? She's an amazing designer, and she has a uh, she has a biz a page, designs by Yanira, and she also has a YouTube channel. So check her out; she's amazing, and uh, I love this clay. Just watch. I mean, I liked I made this a little thick because you need to have it a little thick, and alrighty. This is so much fun. I wish I had done made those swirly things a lot sooner for projects. Oh, Tammy Collins, I know Jared is so sweet. My Hanito's got a project going right now. He's changing light bulbs with the ladder all over the house. Okay, you see? See how clean and how good that clay does? All right, I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm going to show you how I decorated this. And I think since I did those pink, I'm making this one in purple. But I've got to put the stick in it first. And I'm just using one of these skew sticks. This craft makes for a wonderful gift for someone. Yes, 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 birthday. I thought, why hadn't I done this before? All right. Let me get one of these little sheets. Let me go ahead and trim it. 
Amy, what are you doing at, at Walmart, friend? <laughs> Let me see, before I cut it, this one needs to go, I think I'm gonna put it up here, so. And I just guesstimate, friends, if it doesn't work for me, oh well, too bad, so sad, it'll be all right. That's my motto. Remember, I'm here to lift your spirit and motivate you. You can do this. This is so easy and fun to do. All right, so are you yawning? No way, Jared. <laughs> what? Okay, let me see. Ah, it's already coming out. Let me get. All right. Miguelito, tell them, you can link, I believe, on here. All right, friends, I forgot how I, if I, I started in the middle, <laughs> I think. Thank you, uh, I promise I wasn't drinking when I did this. See how easy that is? And you know where I kind of, it went wonky right there? I'm just going to add some little leaves. Why not? It'll cover it up. It'll be all right. Tammy Collins bought a sticker. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much. I appreciate you, sweet friend. It is a sticker, right? Yes, it's okay. a sticker. Thank you, friend. I like that clay for sculpting my hubby's. Oh, your hubby's watching? Well, hello, friend. Karina's hubby is um from, they're from florida the weather here is horrible again today karina mm -hmm. i hope your weather is better getting my poor dog a bone and treats amy is treating her little dog okay i think i'm going to um put some sprinkles on here and these are just sprinkles that are left over from projects that i just put in these little Mark Tilly, that's my wife's favorite color. Oh, lilac, purple. Okay, I'm doing that. Oh, should have done the little beads. Janice says she went rummaging through a garage sale and found a bunch of cookie cutters for a dollar. Who did? Janice. Janice, I love cookie cutters. I, I can never have. I mean, I don't ever get tired of them. I, I have a gazillion of them. Not really, but I do. Jennifer but I love them. And, and I always find different ones. Beautiful flower. Did you say that tip was? Okay, that tip. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, that tip is 1M. I think, what do you think? Should I, a yellow dot? Mm. These little balls here come from my sweet friend, uh, the lollipop lady. Her name is Jamie. She has got a uh, Facebook and also YouTube channel. And she is the sweetest little girl. I mean, I call her little girl. She's the sweetest, uh, lovely lady. And um, she does amazing crafts as well. So she sent me these at Christmas. Uh, she sells she sells a, lot, a variety of uh, crafts and supplies in her store as well. And I believe, Jennifer, are you still selling some on your... Uh, at your Etsy shop, our Jennifer also has an Etsy shop. Not raining today, but it did a little yesterday. But yes, it's cold. You know, um, when we went to mass this morning, we were supposed to all go outside and for the blessing of the palms, and it was so extremely windy. And I didn't go outside, and I know people probably looked at me like, there's nothing wrong with you, but I didn't have a jacket on because I. For some reason, I just didn't want to cover up my spring top, so. Jennifer Losa said, yes, I have one. Oh, Jennifer, be sure and let everybody know, because Jennifer makes little kits, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna decorate like a, a float or a Sunday cup or an ice cream, she makes little kits for that. Right, Jennifer? You make all kinds of neat little kits. Debbie said that Tammy gave you a gift. Yes, Tammy, Tammy Collins. I'm going to add some of these little pearls in here. I just love them. And uh, Amy didn't say where she got this this from. It's called Uniform. Uniform. <laughs> Unicorn Mix. 
Oh, it's gonna be cute. It's got more on one side than the other, but you know what? It doesn't matter. When you put it all together, it's gonna be just fine. You haven't sold any, and that's okay, but they're available. You have kids? I need to go in there and check that out. Y'all, we, we need to go see what all she's got to offer because she may have things that'll make life easier for you. All right, now, after I've done that, I'm going to sprinkle the uh, glitter on there. And I usually sprinkle my big glitter. Where is it? Uh, here it is. The chunky glitter. I Sally love it. Sally Esquivel, Joanne, do you use resin on spackle once it dries? I have before. Uh, I won't on this, but I have before. Yes, sp and spackle does good. I used it on, uh, I made some ornaments, some ice cream ornaments, and uh, there's a little gnat, and I'm going to kill it. I knew I saw one. <laughs> we always have that pesky because it's, they're always around my plants. All right, so um, what was I saying? I forgot. Me too. <laughs> I'm concentrating a little gnat. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to put one up here and one down here. Well, it's going to make it look like it has ears on it. Oh, does it? How about I just do this right here? Mm, yeah, let me do that. Put a little glue on it. So what is everybody working on this week last week of easter countdown to easter <gasps> friends since i'm not going to be on at the end of the week um will y'all get tired of me if i'm on monday tuesday and wednesday at some point during the day i don't know what i would make yet but since i'm not going to be on the rest of the week i'm going to be at church um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and have something Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. What do you think, friends? Will you be tired of me then? Pots, pots, pots. <laughs> Prepping for patriotic tutorials this week. Nice, nice. We're going to do patriotic when my friend Amy and Debbie get here. Hi, Rosa Lance. Never get tired of Joanne's time. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Hi, Toledo 3. Hey, Shelly Mayberry, not at all would love it. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Veronica, hi, not tired at all. Sweet friends. Oh, Amy, y'all are so sweet. Look, is that not cute? That is adorable. Okay, this one's going to go like in the back of this. So I need to just put the straw in. And friends, just be creative and make it your own. And these straws were sent to me by my sweet friend, T. Van B. I love her. She's just amazing. Friends, when you, send, when you take the time to write me letters and send me little cards and stuff, I, I, just, I appreciate everything, everything. I have a notebook, and I keep all my letters in there that you sent me, and um, a lot of days I just look through it and I just put, makes my heart so happy. Lisa asked, what time will you be on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? I'm not really sure. It depends on the guy's schedule. It depends on Eric, I mean Eric. <laughs> and I said Eric, I'm sorry. Eric was here earlier. He's so sweet, my son Eric. He came and he adjusted my lights. He said, Mom, your lights are not right. And he adjusted the lights in my studio. And uh, he uh, he's going to pick up some things for my backdrop, my lights in the back. Look, friends, is that not cute? All right, in order for it to, to you can't really stick it. You'll, you'll kind of damage it if you try to put it in the pot right away with the, just the straw. So I always hot glue uh, a toothpick. Let's see. For some reason, this glue stick doesn't want to. Oh, 
All right. Let's give it a minute to dry before I put it in the pot. I love this. I love how it turned out. Guys, give it a try. It's not hard at all. And look where I messed up right there because it had a, a little air bubble in it. I just fixed it with those little leaves. Everything can be fixed. I promise you, don't throw anything away. Hey, Sherry Stone. All right, let's let me get this out of the way here. I think that's good enough. This might be too long. Oh, it's too, too high. So I'm going to do this number. Ivy, I have two heirs in my son and my grandson. Oh, really? I don't like, oops. Well, I just pulled that all out. I don't like that. That's kind of too, too high for, but I'm going to fix that right quick. Yeah, I was talking to um, to Jared, our friend from Australia, and um, he said something. We were talking about being Jared and Jared because he said he answered a question that was directed to Jared last time. My son, he answered, you know, because his name is Jared, and uh, he said, "What? How did you come about to naming Jared?" And I said, "Well, Eric is named after Eric Estrada." My John Paul is named after the Pope, John Paul II. And I used to watch a show called The Big Valley when I was younger. And I love the name Jared. She had uh, the, the lady that they owned a ranch. It was the mom and the three sons. Lee Majors was one of the characters. And uh, anyway, I love the name Jared. And I remembered when Jared was born. And so that's how Jared came about. And he said that that's the same way he got named. His mom used to watch the Big Valley. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. Um, I'm absolutely in love Will with fake lollipops. Yes, aren't they cute? You can do so much with them, so much. Terry Rich Robinson. Hi, everyone. Hi, friend. How are you? Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. Jared on yet. Oh, Jared is a character, y'all. He's so lovable. He is just something else. All right, I have a drop there. All right, let's stick this back in the pot and see what we come up with. It's still too tall. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna try it one more time and then if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Watch me make it way too short. <laughs> yeah. I think it just needs a little Debbie bit. Debbie said, Mark Jazz Boy is busy at work. Yes. He's so amazing, he can do anything. He can decorate, he can cook. Hi, Dolores Palomo. You love the big valley. Jared was and a, oh, he was? I know, Barbara Stanwyck, yes, was a mother. Hi, Marcella. Yes, Debbie, he is the sweetest, and I'm not saying that because he's our friend. We actually know him personally, and I'll be darned, it's still not right. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone, friends, and we're gonna move on. I wanted it to be a little bit... Shorter? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone right there. And next, I'm gonna do two flowers on the side. Uh, I made this one. I got a sledgehammer, I can kinda count that in. <laughs> no, silly. Look at this one, isn't this one too cute? All right, let's make one right quick. We're gonna use... Uh, I'm going to use the hot pink clay that she's got her, I don't know what she calls it. Some of them don't have names. You'll just, I just don't need a big piece. 
And if I get stuff on my clay, it's all right. This one's already getting thick on me. Oh, let's see, where is that cookie cutter? Isn't it right here? This one. Oh. I think it's this one, yes. Let me see. Oh, this one's gotten hard on me. I need to use it. All right, it'll be all right. Okay, I had this, these Wilton ones. I don't know. I think I got them at Walmart a long time ago on clearance. They're like for cake decorating. You make these 3D flowers, and I had never used it. And then I remembered I had these. So um, I thought I'd try it. Oh. Somebody said make a yellow one. Make a yellow one? I've got, I've got a yellow one going. Hold on just a second. I just wanted to make this one. How are we doing on time? We're at 36 minutes. Oh my goodness. Just keep getting better and better. Love it. Okay, Sherry. All right. I didn't make it as thick as I needed to. I had pieces of clay from another flower that I made. Remember, friends, when you're working with clay, you can make it work for you. Our friend Miguelito with Celine's uh, Crafts and More, he, uh, he, I don't know how he does it, but him and Yanera, and I know I've saw, seen other crafters, they do, they act like with the clay, they use it as frosting on their uh, fake bakes. It's just amazing. They just amaze me. Okay, I did that. Then I had this little, this little one, and so I made some. Lucinda asked, how do, you, how do you keep from the foam clay from sticking to the cookie cutter? Well, I usually wipe it down with a, but I didn't this time, did I? I usually wipe it uh -huh. down with a, with a wet wipe, and uh, it doesn't stick. You can be as creative as you want to be with these. Oh, I just... I thought, oh, I love this. Why hadn't I done this before? I think I need to make this one a little bit thinner. Now, this one's a little hard to get out of the mold because of the little, it's kind of dainty. I think I used to, yeah, this is what I did. Mm. Ah! You don't want to do this, friends. But I did it. Too bad. So sad. I'll make it work. All right. So before I do that, I'm going to get my, um, let me put this clay up. Um, you just get your white slick. Since I'm not using this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to put the stick on it right now. Straight out of the bottle. And you can't go wrong. Okay, then I kind of did that. I don't know what I used, but I used something. I just look around and use what I what I see around me. Lisa, is it easy to work with clay? Yes, it is. I think it is. You just have to you just have to play with it. That's the whole deal. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little one of these little little marble deals on it. What color? That one has red. Oh let me Remember I told you this slick acts like an adhesive as well. 
So I'm just going to put a dot in there and it'll hold this little All right, and then I'm going to glitter it. Look at that, friends. How easy is that? And then I don't have another leaf already made. I'll have to make another one. Okay, done deal. And that's going to stick on there because the flower is wet and it'll stick. All right, another one is going to the rack to dry. All right. That is that. And now, um, let's see. Before I show you that one, let's go ahead and put this one on the pot. Oh, it's pink too. Oh, well, it's all right, it's all right. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Um, how short do I want that? A little bit short. On this one, it's not really gonna matter. Here's mine. Oh, Jennifer, thank you. Just love you, friend. I love all of y'all. You'll just make my day. Oh, that's gonna be cute right there. Yes. Okay, so I didn't plan out the colors very well this time, but you get you get the message. Be creative. <laughs> I know those A little string on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you, you don't, you know, it's expensive to invest in in uh, the clay. If you're gonna buy a bunch of different colors at one time, just think about this though. Uh, if you get the white clay, you can add a little bit of paint and you can paint it the color that you need. So I do that all the time. Alrighty, this is going to be so cute. I just got too much pink in here, but that's all right. I even have a little B, I'm gonna stick on there. Look, friends, isn't that cute? All right, and now we have another purple, because all we have is pink and purple, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a purple that's gonna go right here, and I need to leave this one a little bit big. Um, but I thought I had some other ones. Oh, I do. Look, here's the yellow one. All right, let's decorate this yellow one right quick. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's just me, friends. Right, Candace? <laughs> Leave it up to me. All right, on this one, I'm going to start with, it, since it's already dry, I'm going to decorate the top, and I'm going to use the Diamond Slick, Glitter Slick. All right, and this acts like um, an adhesive, like I said. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring any water up here. Remember I told you? That's all right for my brushes. Let's put a little confetti and a little glitter. Tippy Williams, are you, you're so quiet. Oh, Sandra, I just love doing stuff like this. Okay, I'm going to, we're almost done with this and because Really, the rest is up to you, however you want to decorate it. And uh, I didn't post the, the pattern to it because I hadn't really, the pattern to the heart like I had told you I was going to because I wanted to wait because I'm also going to trace off the cookie cutters in case you don't have these exact 
cookie cutters and do it all at the same time. So, all right, now I'm going to put what color little, uh, or should I put one of these things on it? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Maybe a runstone. Well, since I've used the little balls, let me use the little balls. And this is the way I am when I'm by myself, friends. I've talked to myself all the time. What did I do with them, Jared? Oh, here they are. Um, what color? Not green, not purple, not orange, yellow. I think yellow, yellow will work. No. How about Debbie Williams, me, quiet? Yes. Hi, Mama Bear. Oh, Jared, what color? Orange? Somebody says blue, somebody says yellow. Mm. Just be like any, mini, mini, mo you. Mama Bear <laughs> Lisa, I wish YouTube would, what would make it so we could chat on TV? I know, I don't like that. I think I'm going to do the red. Uh, I know. I don't understand. A lot of times I'm in here and I'm working and I'm watching my friends and I'll, and I have try to have them also on the computer so I can go in and comment. But then a lot of times I forget and I just feel so bad because I want to support my friends. All right, now just get the white slick. Again, friends, just get after it. Don't be afraid. What's that? San Santa's leaving. Oh, bye, sweet friend. Thank you for sharing your Sunday evening with us. We appreciate you so much. Tamara Roman, did you make your headband? No, I bought this one at uh, Hobby Lobby. At Hobby Lobby. Look, look, how quick was that, friends? Okay, so now I have the, I have big leaves. Already made. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna glue one right there. Yeah, let me put some glue on it. See, if you have your stuff already made, if you have your stuff already made, you've got it made. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean, friends. Looks like Bonnie's left and Sandra. Oh, bye friends. I'm still here, but I am practicing beginning watercolor painting. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Did you used to do that? Yes, I love to do that. Okay, this is going on this side. Oh, how cute this is going to be. Mark Tilly, never been to Hobby Lobby. Are you serious? Never been to Hobby Lobby? Friend, that's not normal, unless you don't have one where you live. For some reason, this glue stick doesn't want to travel. Well, it may be a little bit too big for it because they're having it twisted in there. I know, but they're all from the same batch. Probably because of the humidity. You think so? Swelled up? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Hi, Judith. Love the flower and all the ones in the pot. So cute. Hey, Beverly. I'm still here working on another pot. Beverly, you are amazing. And um, Rosa Lance, your pots were so beautiful. And also, Arlinda, Arlinda Coffer, I don't know if she posted a picture of hers. She made one, too, and I was just so impressed and proud of all of y'all. Hi, Linda Cashmere. We do not have a Hobby Lobby. Oh, friend, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one right here.
One more thing I'm going to put on it, and that's the, well, friends, I'm going to fill in, do some fillers, and then I'll take a picture of it because I don't want it to get too late, and I want to show you what I want to do. I also made a little bee, look, out of that mold. Remember I showed you this mold the last time? Um, it, this came from Hobby Lobby, and it was on sale, and it was very inexpensive on sale. I think it was like $2.50 or, or maybe $3.00. Look, I even have a little bead to, just a little bead to maybe, no, because that one's there. Where should I put it? Maybe right there? Okay, let's stick the bee on there and then we call it good. Because I still have some others that I made, but you can make those on your own. They're, they're so easy to make. Hi, Yolanda Lopez. Would like to see what would like to see how you would decorate Christmas baubles. That's what I was also baubles. That's the kind of bees I like. They don't sting. <laughs> 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 Me too, friend. <laughs> Me too. Well, is there anybody new in the in the chat that we have not welcomed? And I'm probably going to go back and put a bow right there on that. And, oh my goodness, friends, time flies when you're having fun. First time I was in Hobby Lobby was about six years ago. Wow. Should have seen the one that... Six um, years ago. Well, I miss my uh, home... I mean, uh, living in Midland, Texas, because I would just take the back roads from my house down to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, when I retired, I was there every morning. Remember that, Jared? Yeah. Just about every morning before Some I went to go. Some employees knew you by name. Yes, before <laughs> I went to go walk at the mall, I'd stop there. Oh, thank you, Mark, my Easter tree. Hi, Anita. Hello from Western New York towards Buffalo. Hey, friend, I hope you're not getting snow still. Hi, Debbie Dawn. All right, friends, let's stick this V in here, and I'm going to show you the last thing I'm going to do to it while on camera here. crashing into that, but I have to fix it. All right, friend. Now, you've got your pot all made and everything, and you want to give it as a gift. So what I would do is, let me move some of this away. I would go ahead and fill it with some... Confetti? Yeah, whatever color that you want to fill it with. I'm going to use this green because this is what I have handy. And just think about it. Um, depends on what you're give. You know, you could, whatever the gift is, you could roll up dollars or turn them into little fans and stick them in here. And, you know, there's just the possibilities are endless. I can think of all kinds of different things I would do. Hi, Natalie. Just said they got three inches of snow in Idaho. Wow. This morning. Just this morning? That's crazy. Shelly Mae Berry, I wish you were here. We would be crafting up a storm. All righty, friends. Now, look at that. That looks so cute. Now, I'm going to take some of this. Thank you, Jared. All right, so now I'm just gonna st stick candy in here. And these, these coins came from Karina Barr. Thank you, Karina. I saved a few for projects because my Hanita was eating them all up. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be next taking See, just stick candy <laughs> in it. Oh, look, friends, I mean, 
course, the Easter candy doesn't go, but, you know, you get my drift. Oh, I think it's so cute. I love it. Friends, and I, I would love to see you make one of these. They're so cute. This is going to look so cute in my kitchen counter. Love it, friends. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And I know that you have a lot going on in your lives, especially with the Easter, countdown to Easter. And like I said, since I'm not going to be on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I'd like to um, come on and craft for you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. How about that? I don't know what I'm making, friends, but you know what? God will, the Holy Spirit will lead me, <laughs> I think. God knows I, my heart is in the right place. Uh, I love how you made your own Mother's Day present. You deserve it. <laughs> I know it. Isn't that too cool? <laughs> uh, okay, friends, thank you for joining me. I will post the pattern tomorrow for the heart on here and also will trace the cookie cutters that I used in case, you know, because you can always cut them, cut, ugh, cut, them. <laughs> cut them out of matting board, friends. That'll be, and decorate them just like I decorated these, and it, they'll be just fine. Um, or styrofoam, either way, or dough, the dough ornaments. So anyway, um, let me know if you have an idea of what you want to see me do this week. All righty, friends, for now, I'm going to let you go. Love you. Don't forget to choose kindness, laugh often, and stay crafty, friends. Love y'all. Don't forget, comment, like, share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on, friends? <laughs> I love y'all. God bless y'all.